show. I appreciate you very much. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you some of their artifacts before they get started. And you get a chance to see what they have, what they sell. So if you decide to come to a powwow, you know what to look for. You get something here. And these flutes here, that, those are pretty cool as well. How much for your flutes? Those are uh, 15. And I want to get a... Uh, I'm gonna grab one of these two as well. They have blankets and jewelry and t-shirts over there. Like Bernie's age, Bernie's age beauty. Beautiful beadwork. All hand crafted. A lot of the dancers are coming in, you know, take a time and pour it out. The chief of the area, I asked Donnie to come up here. If you'll come on up here. John, will you come on up here? This is Mr. John Pincado. He is the the chief of the Meharry Nation. My name is Tracy Wash. I'm on Tracy Wash Entertainment. You uh -huh. too. How's it going? Pretty good. I'm really hey, good. Good. Nice uh -huh. to meet you. Hey, how long have you all been putting this uh, powwow on? Oh, we've been doing it for almost darn near 25 years. Now. Really? Uh -huh. So I'm just now getting into it because we've been searching you, and all this time, you know, we didn't know uh -huh. because Why I'm here because you all are big on YouTube and online right now. Uh -huh. Everybody's talking about the Indians. Well, so I wanted to come out and see for myself about, I want to say Thank about you. three weeks ago, I went to, um, uh, they had another one up in, I want to say King George County. Yes. So I was there about three weeks ago. Uh -huh. well, so I wanted to come see you all. You all about three hours from me. <laughs> so I had to come see for myself. See what's really going on. Oh, I appreciate Thank that. Oh man, because yeah. this is a uh, pleasure uh -huh. because now I, I just put you online so I'm going to put you online even more now okay so I want everybody to see what's going on who we are and, and wh why they need to come see you all thank you so, thank you so uh, I'm going to make sure they get this wedding. oh yeah what time is the wedding three o'clock three o'clock okay because okay, I plan on staying at least to, what time does it end um, we could be here till six o'clock. About six o'clock. Uh -huh. Okay, so so you're putting on all the dances, uh -huh. you're doing all that stuff. You got the wedding going on. So uh -huh. what else do you have going on well, that people should the, know? You got the um, field back there where we had the roundhouse, the three corn ladies, the fish fry, all that kind of stuff. Back okay, there. it's all illustrated. Okay, be able yeah, to this is the corn what's going on back there. Okay, um, some of us uh, may be back there to give you a tour back there. Okay, if you need help with anything, like, just find one of us as a fully huh? dressed. Okay, like Gail, yeah, we come out there and help you. Oh, nice, cool. Uh -huh. So you you give a tour back there? Give a tour back there. Really? Uh -huh. They have yeah, houses we, and everything had, back there. We had the school I mean, here yesterday. Okay. And so we give tours and stuff. We can nice. Rebuild, we can rebuild a, a library and a history. Really? Where you're gonna see all the artifacts, see all of our okay. Nickelodeon, okay. Everything like that. Oh, that's nice. See what we got going on. So. Guys all this going on, how, why don't the people know about you all and, and everything that's going on? Well, maybe people Lack do know. Lack of knowledge, people, people perish. Right. And then, too, back then, no one wanted to be associated with anything that was disliked. Right. Okay? Okay. So that's what that's all about. Okay. I'm gonna so, here. back here See, on this tour, you all have houses and There's everything? There's uh, the house, long house. Terry. Um, we have oh, a, you guys, Terry. Um, Terry okay. Stage. Okay. We have a, um, Ladies, we okay. have anything that's related to our history, okay. you'll find it back there. And there's a plaque there. Really? It's pretty big that you can read up on yourself. Oh, nice. And our chief and our princess, they put stuff out there. Okay. We also have a language lab where you can learn a language. Nice, nice. So now, what's the name of your tribe? We call it Chardonnay Guinea and Chai. Now, I was outside <laughs> reading the sign and I was having a difficult time saying. <laughs> because it has a lot of, it has a lot of CA. Right. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready. Right. So, yeah, it's really okay, okay. It's, it's, not, it's not like you teach you in school for Come on in with the Exactly. But it's an Indian. Um, it's Right, exactly. Yeah. See, there you yeah. go. So, see, that's what people need to know. So, so you're part of the Nottaway tribe? Uh -huh. Okay, good. Because right, that's, that's what everybody needs to know. So, I wanted to see your drummers as well. Uh, now, are they part of your tribe? Or they just? Uh -huh. Oh, they are? Okay, uh -huh. nice, nice. So, so, are you all a federally recognized tribe? Here? Um, the chief is taking care of that now for us. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because I remember the last one I went to, the guy, the host, he kept talking about, you know, the federally and the non-federally, mm -hmm. federally recognized tribes. Mm -hmm. So you all are working on that now. Yeah, Chief Red Hawk. So is, is, is there right, a so reason why certain tribes are, are and some arena? aren't? Because in the state of Virginia, there were well, several the drawings, tribes here. Okay, the okay. There was some documentation uh, there. The okay. Some so did not sure lose their documentation. Some that. left so. their documentation. Uh -oh. We find that when it comes down to being 
I hate to say it. Now we're going to give her a total of fifteen hundred dollars. So okay. Not all still at one deal time, with that. Okay. So you have to remember the certain day. tribes so the came from in the here, background. And so there's a number. I don't have certain pigmentation in the skin. Okay. You have to be in so the arena. that's how that came about. Oh remember, yeah, because I was trying to figure that out myself because I didn't know. But I know he was saying that he was going to go back and you know and do more research on what he had to find out. You know, so so that's good to know. Have you did your research? Well, not as extensively as I should be, but I have have been researching and that's how I found you all because I you know so my next one I, I plan to go to there's one I think coming up in Maryland there's one that's gonna be in Maryland there's one that's gonna be in Hollister North Carolina okay which which about eight of us are from Hollister how uh, okay North oh yeah okay yeah so that's where I my blood mine is okay but the chief is my cousin so okay cool that's how that happened Okay, so now this is a. How long have they been on this reservation? This is a reservation. This is our reservation. This okay. Is going to be the new home for us. Um, we've been on the reservation now for about 12 years. About 12 years? Paid, the chief just burned. He had a burning ceremony of the mortgage a couple of months ago. Okay, okay. He burned the mortgage, so the land is totally ours. We're getting ready to make this a unity type of thing for anyone that's Native American Indian. Okay. Anybody who wants to learn about the history. Cool, cool. Oh, there's a whole lot of people I know want to learn. Yeah, a, yeah, lot. yeah, a lot. A lot. So I say, you know what? The more I can post this, the more I can get it out there, the more we can get us out here. Well, just check. If you need anything that I can't answer, you know, ask the chief, and the chief will be able to help you. Okay. It's one of my cars there. Thank you. So you, Thank uh, you. I do everything. All type of entertainment, okay. anything positive to put us in a positive light. Got you covered. All right, you Thank got you. it. Thank All you, right, you sir. have a good day. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Thank and you. and Thank I'll check you out again. And I'm gonna walk around here. Travel dancing, okay? My name is Chief Red Hawk Brown. I'm Chief of the Jero in Haka, Nottaway Indian Drive. And I'm gonna talk to you again at 3 p.m. I want you to watch this wedding because I need all of you to be what? Witnesses, right? Yes. Who's gonna witness for me? Right here. Who's gonna witness the wedding for me? And we have a group of seniors that came in here with a bus. I think it was like, what, 45, 47? Me! Yeah, they drove a long way. So we came from where? where they come? I know Powhatan. What's the location? Virginia. Where? Powhatan, Virginia? Yeah. Good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to turn the mic back over to Joey. We're going to get ready to do some uh, praise to the Creator via drumming and dancing. Listen to the drum because it beats out the heartbeat of the nation, okay? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> All right, we're going to start right. some intertribal dancing no, in just, just a few moments. Yeah. <laughs> Very Let good. Uh, these guys get ready, and uh, we want all dancers to come on in. We'll try to talk a little bit about the dance styles a little bit. Because I am a teacher, an educator, um, it's always important to share the culture. And if there's something you don't know, there's never a stupid question. It, it's uh, always good to ask, ask something. So we're going to try to... Uh, share the culture and the different types of regalia while uh, the dancers are wearing it. And their, their regalia that they have will match their dance style. And there are dances that women do, and there are dances that men do. And for indigenous people, it was about balance. Everyone recognized that everyone could contribute to their nation, to their clan, to their family. And so everyone uh, was recognized and valued.
here. We'll do a little drawing right here. We'll put the chip out of here until we got here. Look at this, guys. This is one of the most amazing things I think I've ever seen and beautiful at the same time. There's nothing like having some birds in a backpack and they look fully comfortable with this. This is nice. So look guys, I'm over here. They also have food at the powwow. When you come to the powwow, you can get fish, you can get buffalo, bison burger, you can get whatever it is that you need. So this is it right here. See, I'm eating my fish sandwich. I'm sitting around with some of the Indian people. You know, you're sitting around talking, but you get your big beans here and your fish. So you can get your food here too. So if you don't eat before you come to the powwow, again, look up the powwow. Just go to uh, Google. Uh, Google uh, powwows in your area and it'll come up and you can find out anything you want to find out so i'll get back with y'all in a minute stay tuned and watch the show i'm going to share with you a couple steps of my dancing okay this is going to be very slow and easy then after that we're going to decide if all the public is going to decide if you wanted to try it to see you are better than the guys or you guys are better than the girls okay all right but first just look at me okay don't do anything, just look at me. The same thing with you guys, okay? Just look at me. Okay, first I'm gonna ask the guys. What do you think that was easy? No. Yeah, you got it. What about you? You got it pretty? That was easy, right? No, no problem? All right, good. What about you? No problem either. You think that was easy, right? You got it, you got it, man. What about you? No problemo. Okay, they say no problem. They're good for them. What about you? You think that was easy, right? Okay, I want everybody to let me know who you think is the best, okay? What about the beautiful guys? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just joking. What about the beautiful ladies? Yeah, I'm very good. Uh, what about the macho guys? You know what? They sound even. They sound very much even. The beautiful ladies! The macho guys! You know what? I don't want to have a tie. I'm going to have a dance off, okay? But so this time, I'm going to ask one of the guys, one of the guys with the motorcycle, <laughs> to go right in the front, okay? Right over there, yes. I want one of the ladies with the uh, pink blouse with black. All right, come on, let's go. Do Macarenas. Woo! <laughs> All right, now you're gonna dance at the same time, okay? But remember this time, you're not dancing together. You dance one against the other, okay? Are you guys ready? Let's get it, man, let's get it. Let's go, one, two. Three, go! Ha, 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 ha. 
Okay, now, now put your hands together to, to, uh, to let me know who is who did it the best, okay? What about the beautiful lady? That's very good. What about the macho guy? You know what? They sound better for the guys. But I cannot say you guys win because my wife is behind me. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna give you one more chance to the ladies. All right. Taylor's doing, she's giving us the hands and the arms. All right, you gotta switch, go the other way. There you go. Oh, I see some fun out there. JJ's having a good time. 
Uh oh, she switched it on you again. Little man's out there. He is alert. He is watching this. I told you he would be part of it. Uh oh. Looks like we got a little snake thing going on here. There. All right. Just hang on to everybody. All right. I see a lot of people laughing and smiling. All right, yeah. It is a good workout. A lot of fun. All right. Wonderful. I'd like my uh, men dancers to stand by. Eastern Woodland Dancers, stand by, please. Only problem is, yeah, watch out for that sun because it'll block a lot of the video that we're doing there. Oh, so, this is great. I've heard this one. That's okay if you get tired. That's okay. Yeah. It's all right. Better? I get it. I understand. Look what we're doing. This circle is almost complete again. Amazing. Hey, audience, give them a round of applause to go with this round circle there. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, Taylor's letting you know. Male traditional dancers, please stand by for exhibition. traditional native wedding, Iroquois wedding for one of my tribal members who is also a relative of mine, Kermit Ashley Lewis, and his uh, bride-to-be, Courtney Benet. Raise your hands, guys. Now, this is a traditional Iroquois wedding, okay? They're going to be traveling to Louisiana probably in January and do an official wedding. However, I am licensed by the Commonwealth of Virginia and also the county of Southampton County, which I have a copy of my license in here, to do Iroquois weddings in accordance with our tradition, traditions, and our culture. And that's what I'm going to be doing today, okay? So please, I'm so glad that you're sitting here that you're going to witness this beautiful ceremony. At this time, I'm going to ask that the blue bunches be draped around the uh, decast and the goyag to be. Put it over their shoulders. You guys, hold on to it, Courtney. You're going to ask this. These blue blankets represent their own individuality because they're not married yet, so there is no complete unity as one, which in our language means Goliag, okay, which is one blood, okay? So they're going to come in, and we're going to go through the, the uh, narrative as it applies to the traditional Iroquois wedding. Uh, the wedding group behind them is going to be Carol Holly. She has the white blanket. After we pronounce them, Dekes and Goliag, Dikas is wife in our Iroquois language and Goliag is husband. They will be draped, the blue blankets will be removed by the two tribal people that put the blue blankets on them. I tell you when to remove them, okay? And then Carol's gonna drape them in the white blanket which represents their unity as one. Aho! Aho! And I have uh, part of our Iroquois wedding tradition is an ara and also bread. In our language, bread is gotara. Can you say gotara? Ara is a wheat rag, okay? So they're going to be bringing in the bread and the ara, and they're going to follow my instructions, okay? So I got Donnie Freeman, one of my tribal members, is playing the flute. And I'm going to have Red, Red Eagle. I'm going to ask them to come in and stand in the same position they're in now when you come in. 
Yeah, come in now, please. Just face me, the bride and the groom. Right here. Come on, Ashley. the bride and the groom to be Dikas and Goliath in our Iroquois language, okay? Uh, Ashley, uh, Kermit, Ashley Lewis, and Courtney Benet. And as part of their wedding entourage, we have David Brown with the, with the, the era. And I'm going to walk through the traditions on the era of when, what happens when the, the, the groom presents the era to the bride and why he's doing that. We have uh, Teresa has the bread. The bread is going to be presented to the bride, and the bride is going to offer the bread to her Goliath to be her husband, right? And I'm going to go through the litany of what that means. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we got everybody in here. You guys can get in front of one song and. Uh, you won't be loud. Uh, no. Some video. <laughs> We got the eviction, don't you? We got the eviction. Where have you got some silence? I like that. Uh -huh. okay. How many of you know there are seven eviction. directions? Oh, yeah. Most of you hear about four directions, but there are really seven, okay? And I'm going to share these seven directions with the bride and the groom to be. The decaf and the goal yet to be, the goal yet to be. Okay? So if it means something in our Iroquois language, it means something that people are joining together to be one. Okay? So the seven directions. Native people speak to the four directions. We all know that. In actuality, there are seven. As we look to our directions, we start in the east and we move clockwise from the rising of the sun to the setting. As this is the direction of the earth, or turn, moves in the direction that we must walk. From the rising of the sun to the setting. Because all of us eventually has to walk into the setting of the sun. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Now, the first one is the east. The east is the spiritual direction. The eagle sits there and carries our prayers to the creator, Quaker and Tita. The color yellow and the season is spring, and it represents the yellow race. That's in the east, okay? Number two, the second direction is the south. The south is the emotional direction. Okay, that's why we're sharing that with you because this is an emotional thing that you guys are doing, combining yourself as one, right? So it's a lot of emotions, a lot of love involved in this. Because so the second direction of the seven directions is the south. This is the emotion director, and the wolf, Foos, in our Vicharian Hunt and Nautilus Indian language, sits here and teaches us about love, emotions, and the value of family and community. The color is red. And the season is summer. This direction represents the Native American of the red race, and the element here is the earth, Oter. I'm standing on that turf, okay, which is Mother Earth. Ana Oter. Ana is Mother, Oter is Earth. So I'm standing on Ana Oter. The third direction is the west. That is the physical direction because you guys will be having a physical connection. Don't go to the longhouse yet, man. Not ready. <laughs> okay. You're going to be having a physical direction and also the direction of healing. Because sometimes things are not going to run the way you want it to run. Sometimes you guys may, in an era, walk in a different direction and not be in agreement, okay? So that's why the West is very important. It's the physical direction, also the direction of healing, because healing has to come. The color is black and the season is fall. The medicine bear lives here and brings healing to all of us. This direction presents the black race and the element is water. The thunder, Hehinu in our tribal language, Hehinu, which is thunder, brings also and lives in the west. The fourth direction is the north, the direction where wisdom comes from. So all of you have to have wisdom, you've shared your wisdom, otherwise you would not have agreed to join into one blood, Goliath. So all of you have wisdom, but that's represented by the 
by the north, okay? And the season is winter, and here's what we learn about sacrifice. There'll be a lot of sacrifice, okay? But you guys come together as one. The color is white. And also the direction where the elders sit. And we are the elders, okay? We are the elders for your guidance in case you need counseling or need to talk to someone because we have walked the same walk you're walking now. Uh huh. That means yes, right? Okay. Is that okay? Okay, it means yes. Okay. So the race here is a white race and the element is air. The fifth direction is above. The heavens and Quaco Ventica. Father Sky, Akra, Quaco Ventica. The sky, like our own father, watches over us. The color is blue. That's why you're draped in a blue blanket now. But that blue blanket currently represents your own individuality. Okay, because currently you are, you are basically individual. When we wipe, wrap you in that white blanket, you're gonna be one. That's gonna come pretty quick. But don't go to the longhouse yet, okay? Just wait, okay? So, the color is blue, which is above Waco Ventica, and we can see clear a vision of the direction that you need to go in, okay? The fifth direction, which is above, is the direction of the heaven. We have Father Sky, Akra, Quaco Ventica. Akra is the word for Father. Quaco Ventica is sky. The sky, like our own Father, watches over us. But the Creator is watching over you, right? Of course. The color is blue. Above, we can see a clear vision of direction. Now, the sixth one is below, where Mother Earth is. Ina Ote. And the color we use to represent her is green. We also, we also use the turtle to represent Mother Earth, Ina Oter. Our mother takes care of us. She is the life giver. All of our nourishment basically comes from the earth. The grazing of the cattle, whatever, comes from the earth on our turf. The seventh direction, which is important for you, is called within. Because you're about to walk within. The seventh direction is the one within ourselves. Your own individuality, okay? But you all have that. We are of value, and the creator, Quicker, Quicker Hunte, has put the great spirit, Tachana with he, into all of us. We are life in action, loving, moving, growing. The great spirit touches our hearts. Without that, we are nothing. Now, what does this mean? Our lives travel in a sacred direction of life. To be human is to travel in all directions. Whether those directions be uh, the circle of life, we grow spiritually, emotionally, physically, and mentally. Our four races need to come together for us to heal as people. The yellow, the red, the black, and the white. Because this is what Quaker Hunte wishes for us, our creator. And the direction to work with, it takes four quarters to make a circle. Mother and father side by side, mother earth, father sky. We need to break down the gender lines and respect both sexes, male and female. We must value ourselves and follow the path of the sacred circle of life. Now I have four stones, I hope I have them with me. I hope. <laughs> Did I get some of my four stones? Hmm? You give this white stone to your future bride, okay? Which represents your clear conscience. Give it to her. The second stone is the stone of creative, creativity. As we gain knowledge about the spirit that soars in the sky of unlimited possibilities, we create without our spirit. Give me the blue stone. The blue stone. The blue stone, your glory, which represents your creativity in the family, okay? The next stone is the, the red stone. The red stone represents wisdom and fire. It represents sharing, building, harmony. It tells us we must seek guidance of the great spirit, Tachana with he, before we take action. That's the red stone. This is given to the future Goliad to share with his bride. Again, that represents wisdom and fire, okay? And it represents sharing, as you're going to be sharing with him. You're going to be sharing your table, sharing your bed, okay? That's what this stone represents. The next stone is the tan stone. 
This is the stone of remembrance that we should never forget. What we leave behind to others and how we will be remembered through these ages. This is the stone of remembrance, okay? You give this to your bride today. So you should have two stones there. She has two, right? Give this stone to you. Okay. So we got this, the white, the blue, the red, and the tan. The white stone, rep, rep stone represents clear conscience. The blue stone represents creativity. The red stone represents wisdom and fire. And the tan stone represents remember. Always have to remember, right? Now, you guys can go back over here. Thank you. Now, Donnie, give me some soft flute music while I'm going through this, okay? This is your I do, I will, I won't, and I can. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ashley, do you take Courtney to be your wife, your DCAS, and equal? Will you share your life openly with her and strive to love, honor, and stand behind her always in times of celebration and in times of sadness and times of health? in times of sickness, and in times of joy, and in times of conflict. You can look at her and say, I do. I didn't hear you. Speak loud. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Courtney, do you take Ashley to be your Goliath, which is husband, and equal? Will you share your life openly with him and strive to love, honor, and stand beside him always in times of celebration, in times of sadness, in times of health, in times of sickness, in times of joy, and times of conflict. You look at him and say, I do. He didn't hear you. Good, good, good. Okay, if there's a circle. This circle is a symbol of the sun, the earth, the universe, of wholeness, of perfection, of peace, and unity. Like circles, your rings have no beginning and no ending. They are tokens of the growing relationship that have come here to celebrate and confirm Ashley and Courtney will now exchange their arrow and the bread. Can you bring forth the arrow, please? Thank you. This is symbolic of a ring. This arrow is being presented to the male. In turn, he will present it to his bride-to-be and repeat after me. I. Ashley Lewis promised to protect you all the days of my life in sickness and in health, and I will have meat on your table. <laughs> and give that to, to uh, yeah? okay. Okay, I need the bread. Take the top off, please. We have the bread. This is the bread of life, right? Who gives the bread of life? Who gives life? The woman, Anna, in our Iroquois language. The mother, right? Anna Archer, Mother Earth. So we had the bread. Yeah, come on up. Yes, yes, we don't want to go for 12. I'm not sure who's here. We had to go for um, 20. Princesses. What about the tribal representative? Um, 25. Um, 25. 35. 35. 35. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If not, I'll turn the mic over to Chief Walt Brown. I'll see you. Can you say I'll see you? I'm not gonna talk to him. I'm not gonna dance. I'll see you. I'll see you. <laughs> see, he's not gonna dance if they don't speak. If they don't talk up. I'm gonna ask all of my tribal members uh, in regalia to please come in a circle with me. I am asking the okay, I need US to get Army over here. 244 Color Guard to come in a circle with me, please. The 244. Hey, uh, How's it going here? Good, good. Good, not bad at all. Checking out to see what you got going on here. All right. Take your time, no worries. All right. I'm so glad that you're here to celebrate our 30th Carolina Hawk and Nottaway Indian Tribe Celebration. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Guys, I would like to thank you for stopping by watching my channel. I just wanted to do a walkthrough, walk around here on the reservation. Of course, this is my first time. I know it's your first time, but it, this is very interesting to show you a little history of exactly what they went through, what they go through on a daily basis. But I just wanted to do a tour to show you exactly what's going on here. And I appreciate you again for watching my channel, watching my show, constantly checking in. So I can't stress enough, please look for the powwows. And until next time, take care.